Let's take a look at the molecular geometry, bond angles, and electron geometry for IF2 minus. So we'll start out with a valid Lewis structure. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for IF2 minus, there's a link in the description. So we can use the AXE notation to determine the molecular geometry here for IF2 minus. So A, that's the central atom. We're talking about the iodine atom here. When we look at molecular geometry, we're looking at that with respect to that central atom, that central iodine atom. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the iodine. We have two, two of those fluorine atoms. And then E, that's the number of lone pairs. We have one, two, three. These are our lone pairs. So we have AX, two, E, three. If you look that up on a table for molecular geometry, or you memorize it, this is a linear molecular geometry. Let's visualize that for a second. So the central atom, that'll be the iodine atom, will add the two fluorine atoms, one, two. They spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. But we have those three lone pairs. They occupy space, and they'll repel these atoms here as well. So one, you can see it pushes down the two fluorine atoms, two. And then finally, the third one puts this into what we call a linear molecular geometry. The bond angle, that's going to be 180 degrees. So if we hide the lone pairs, you can see that linear molecular geometry for IF2 minus. Let's put the lone pairs back and let's look at the electron geometry. So the electron geometry, we're looking at the geometry for all of these electron groups. We have the two atoms and then the one, two, three lone pairs. We end up with what's called a trigonal bipyramidal electron geometry. So our electron geometry, trigonal bipyramidal, our molecular geometry, we have a linear molecular geometry, bond angles, 180 degrees. Let's go back to our lowest structure. So to recap, when we have two atoms and three lone pairs, we're going to have a linear molecular geometry, and then that electron geometry will be trigonal bipyramidal. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.